We'll continue by having number five. Number five is reason I believe that we miss out some of those important opportunities in our lives because you did not invest time and resources to grow your abilities. It is so important for us to grow our abilities. The reason is, in Matthew chapter 25, tells us that God, God gave talents. Five talents, four talents, and two talents. And He said, in accordance to their abilities. Therefore, the more we grow in our abilities... God would entrust us more responsibilities or resources to manage because God would not just give important things to those people who doesn't know how to manage, just like us fathers. Nung malilit pa yung mga anak natin at humihingi sila ng 1,000 pesos at alam po natin na they don't know how to manage that, Sayang lang. But of course, when your kids or your children grown up and they studied the principle of management and they knew how to manage every amount of money, then of course, you have that confidence to invest in their abilities. At uh, that is practical things that we need to realize in life. Maybe the reason why you miss out important opportunities in your life is just because you did not invest time and resources to grow your abilities. I did mention in other program or other tapings na, you know, uh, many times we miss out opportunities because we lack consistency. You know, napakalaga na ating pong isipin yon at i-apply natin sa ating mga buhay bilang mananampalataya is just because, you know, tayo pong mga Kristiyano, big things or good things were required by us. Expectation is high. It's just like uh, one company owner, nung nagsimula po sa kanyang business ay ang kanyang hinayar na kanyang mga tauhan ay mga Kristiyano. Because the, sabi niya, if I would hire believers, sure enough, they will bring higher results. Dahil doon sa pananampalataya niya na lahat ng mga Kristiyano ay, of course, they are diligent and live, living in a higher standard in compared to unbelievers. But at the end, he was discouraged because marami po sa kanila ay hindi pumapasok at may mga excuses at karamihan sa excuses nila ay, Sir, sorry po, kasi meron po kaming Bible study kahapon dahil nag-practice po kami. They are taking those ministry as reason upang sa ganun ay hindi nilang gampanan yung nararapat na kanilang gampanan bilang isang employee. Bible study, prayer meeting ay napakahalaga. Pero we need to be, you know, uh, we need to know the right thing. We need to put in place right thing so that it will bring expected Result. And number six that I would like us to consider. You know, many times we wanted God to do what He has already delegated to us. Just like church growth. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, go and make disciples. Pero ang panalangin natin, Panginoon, bring people to our church. Ibagit, 
yung mga bagay na at responsibility na idinelegate ng painoon sa atin, gusto pa natin na ang painoon ang gagawa para sa atin. So, the reason why we are missing out good opportunities sa buhay po natin because the, those important things that God has delegated us to do, we still wanted God to do it for us. When we do and obey what God wanted us or this God's design for us to do, He will bless us. And that is why in the Great Commission, sabi po niya, go and make disciples. In that last verse, sabi niya, I will be with you. So as we go, as we do what we ought to do with the spirit of diligence and excellence, God will go with us. He will empower us. And number seven, we sincerely, we are sincerely wrong in our pursuit. You might be sincerely wrong in your pursuit. You are sincere, yet you are sincerely wrong doon sa ginagawa mo. Kaya napakalaga na mag-evaluate ka, evaluate what are the potentials, what are the gifting. Ano ba talaga yung tawag ng painon sa'yo? You know, when I realized that the Lord called me in the ministry, I need to give up other things that I am doing. When we started the ministry, of course, I should do some businesses to uh, support my family and to support the ministry. It's just because we're in the pioneering stage and I do not like to rely on others. I, I wanted God to demonstrate His faithfulness and His goodness even as we started the ministry. But when the Lord started to bless the ministry, He said, it's time for me to give up those things and focus sa ministry and praise God as we now focusing and pursuing yung tawag ng Painoon. Naramdaman po namin yung pagpapala ng Painoon until God started to open opportunities for me to travel to different countries and share the Word of God. Na ako po'y naniniwala na kailangan evaluate natin ang ginagawa natin. You might be sincerely wrong in your pursuit. Kapatid, this question might be addressed to you. Are you wondering until now, nothing significant happened in your life? You might. Hindi ko naman sinasabi na yon, pero it might be that you are sincerely wrong sa ginagawa mo. You need advice and you need to seek the Lord. Opang sa ganon ay He will redirect you. And number, number eight, this is last. You thought you can do it without having good mentors. Ito po yung karamihan sa atin ay dito tayo nagkakamali. Because we assume that we know everything in life. You know, as you consider the Bible, here comes Joshua mentored by, by uh, Moses. Here comes Abraham who received the covenant of blessing. You know, he mentored Isaac. And Isaac mentored uh, Jacob. And of course, Jacob mentored Joseph. And many more. We have uh, Silas and Paul. I can enumerate in the Bible people who displayed the power of mentorship. Maybe the reason why you don't have significant things happen in your life because you did not observe in regard the importance of having good mentor. And with this, I pray that this uh, divine or good principles that uh, I share with you, dalangin ko po na Ito'y makatulong sa atin upang sa ganon ay magkaroon po tayo ng self-evaluation because I believe it's not yet too late for you to let God redirect your life so that we will not miss out good opportunities awaits for us. 
Thank you for watching. For you to hear more transformational, inspirational, and revelational truth, click the subscribe button and the notification bell. See you on the next life message.